so this is a joint work with uh, Farid Mokran and Jack Tilwin. So the aim is to um, construct sheaves of locally analytic over convergent Ziegel modular forms and to relate them with uh, classical forms. So this has uh, already been done by uh, Andrea Tai, Ovita, Piloni. And uh, we try to use an uh, alternative approach, somewhat more naive, uh, based on the construction of uh, over-convergent Igusa towers. So um, I start by uh, fixing some notation. So P is an odd uh, prime uh, integer. G and uh, N are integers such that p does not divide n. I will uh, denote by uh, w uh, the ring uh, zp of theta n, theta n being a primitive nth root of unity, and by uh, k the fraction field of w. Next, I will uh, consider x which is the uh, periodic formal completion of the Ziegel variety of genus G and level N. So this is a formal scheme over W. I will uh, also denote by uh, A the uh, universal abelian scheme and by capital X the generic fiber of X in the sense of Renault. So this is a rigid space over K. So in this context we have uh, various objects. The first one is a uh, the Hodge 8 function. So this is a, a map from x to the interval uh, 0, 1 that sends a point x to the truncated valuation of the periodic valuation of the ASO invariant. So so I write it like this. So here, more precisely, if L uh, is a finite extension of K and X, uh, L point of uh, X, so that corresponds to an abelian scheme uh, AX over the integers of L. So the uh, ASO invariant is uh, just the determinant of the Frobenius acting on the Lie algebra of Ax mod p. And uh, with this uh, function, we can uh, define a subset of x. So if uh, v is between 0 and 1, I will uh, denote by uh, x of v the inverse image by uh, this map of the interval 0 v. So in particular, if uh, v equals 0, so we get the uh, ordinary locus, <coughs> the generic fiber of the ordinary locus. Also, if uh, v is non-zero, this provides uh, strict neighborhoods of the ordinary locus. So I should write ordinary locus. So we will use a, a normal formal, uh, formal model for x of v that I will denote by uh, curly x of v, which is obtained by considering the uh, periodic completion of the normalization of the maximal open of the blow-up of x um, of x here along the ideal generated by ASE and uh, 
any element of valuation V. So the maximal open uh, on which this ideal is generated by the ASO invariant. So, so there are other objects that I, I will uh, also consider. So we have a, a tower T over uh, X. This is uh, the torsor of basis of the co-normal shift. So I denote it by omega, the co-normal shift of the uh, universal abelian scheme at the, uh, at the unit section. So this uh, provides uh, Zariski GLG torsor. And uh, we can uh, define uh, classical Ziegel modular forms. as uh, functions on T that are invariant under the uh, unipotent lower triangular matrices. There is uh, also another object that lives uh, above the ordinary locus. This is the Igusa tower. So uh, I will denote uh, it by T infinity. So this is a map PR. And uh, this is the torsor of uh, basis of the periodic Tate module of the et al part of uh, the uh, universal abelian scheme above the ordinary locus. OK, so uh, this is an et al GLG of the Peter Sor. And similarly, we can define the periodic modular forms by considering uh, functions in the, com uh, I mean, f elements in the completions of the functions on T infinity that are invariant under the uh, unipotent upper triangular matrices in GLG of ZP. Right. So those uh, objects are related thanks to the uh, Hodge state map. So for uh, every uh, n integer, we have the uh, Hodge state map associated to the uh, um, um, to the finite et al group scheme, uh, which is the et al part of the P to the n torsion in the universal abelian scheme, to the co normal shift like this. So uh, this is a map, I will call it object n, uh, of um, between. Um, uh, F uh, shifts on the uh, finite et al uh, site of uh, the ordinary locus. And we can uh, pass to the limit and obtain a map of state from the periodic Tate module of the et al part of a ord to omega hat. So this is a uh, morphism of uh, sheaves on uh, a site, so uh, x ord prophet, so a site which is similar to that defined by uh, Scholze, so uh, whose objects are uh, projective systems of uh, uh, finite et al maps from uh, some TM to U, the risky open in a uh, in X ord, and whose covering are given by uh, families like this, G, I, M, such that for all N, the union of G, I, N of T, I, M is T, M. Right, so this is a shifified version of the uh, Hodge state map. 
And uh, this, in turn, allows to define uh, the uh, Hodge state Ikusa map. Sorry? Do you say something on the UI? So uh, so they cover you? Or? I think they do. So th ah, this is finite. Yes. Okay. Um, so it is obtained. So it, it, it's a map between so the Igusa tower and the restriction of t to the ordinary locus. which is simply defined as follows. So HTI of some basis of the PI dictate module. So we just apply the uh, old state uh, map to the dual basis. Right. And uh, so this allows to, um, to uh, relate uh, Ziegel modular form, classical modular forms to PI uh, modular forms. And so the idea is that uh, one should be able to uh, construct such objects on uh, some uh, x of v for a uh, small v. More precisely, so this is the idea. There should exist some uh, v0, a rational between uh, 0 and 1, such that for all uh, v in uh, between 0 and v0, we have uh, uh, the following diagram. So we have the uh, classical Igusa tower. And we, here we have some, uh, some uh, GLG of ZP, uh, 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 Netal GLG of ZP torsor that extends uh, the Igusa tower above uh, x of v and also a map HTI V extending the odd state Igusa map above X of V. Right, so uh, before I, s I give some uh, ideas on the construction of such objects, uh, I would like to uh, make a comment um, abo about uh, canonical subgroups. So recall that if uh, n is an integer, then um, when v is uh, less than 1 over 2 times p to the n minus 1, so here the 2 should be replaced by a 3 when p equals 3, we have a canonical subgroup of level n over, so uh, I call it Hn, over x of v. Right, so in particular, uh, using uh, this description, this provides also a <laughs> finite et al uh, covering of uh, x of v. And uh, indeed, one expects that the nth floor of the overconvergent Igusa tower, assuming of course that uh, v is uh, less than v0, uh, identifies with the torsor of basis of uh, this uh, canonical subgroup. So to the G, Hn. Right, but of course, uh, as n goes to infinity, that, that, that uh, this uh, bound here shrinks. So one cannot construct the uh, tower, um, so yes, T infinity V by using P divisible groups. So we have to uh, use some uh, roundabout way. So I will explain the strategy. So it, it, it uh, comes from a, also a simple observation that one can uh, construct the periodic representation attached to the uh, etal part of uh, the universal uh, uh, ordinary abelian scheme in uh, some uh, un unusual and, uh, I mean, uh, a bit complicated way, but that might be generalized 
outside the ordinary locus. So this works as follows. So one starts with this p divisible group. So one can uh, attach to it its uh, Dieudonné module. So this provides an uh, F crystal with a uh, filtration. This uh, F crystal plus uh, filtration such that so the Frobenius maps the filtration inside PM and such that the resulting uh, phi module M modulo phi M tensor FP so, so this is etal. Having this there is a construction by Dwork that associate to this a unit root subcrystal. So there is a Frobenius too. So that has the property that M is the direct sum of U and the filtration. Right. So how should we think about this F crystal? Should we think in the sense of really crystalline side? Yes. Or you are in the rigid and the rigid uh, No here is this is on, on the is on, on, on the on, on the on, on the um, it, it is on the on the uh, special fiber. And the last step is a uh, cat's correspondence. So which is a kind of a period correspondence in the simplest case, yeah, because it's uh, in the unramified case. And uh, one gets the uh, periodic uh, Tate module we are looking for. In fact, we, we get its dual. Right. And so the, the strategy is to uh, try to adapt each of these steps above x of v. So the first step is to uh, associate to our situation a uh, crystal with some uh, Frobenius structure. So the choice of the crystal is uh, obvious. So we will denote uh, by M the following crystal. And um, this is uh, equipped with uh, the uh, Hodge filtration. So more precisely, we have a uh, Hodge filtration only on the uh, evaluations of these crystals, uh, where we can, uh, on which, above which we can deform the universal abelian scheme. But this, is, this is, will not be a trouble for us. And we also need some uh, Frobenius uh, structure. And this is provided by the uh, canonical subgroup. So uh, if uh, v is less than one half or one third, when p equals three, then uh, we have the canonical subgroup h1 that uh, defines a map from uh, x of v to uh, x of uh, p times v, since the Hodge 8 of the quotient of the universal abelian scheme by the canonical subgroup is uh, p times uh, the Hodge 8. And uh, composing with the natural map to x, I get a map phi. I will also uh, denote by uh, iota the natural map from uh, x of v to x. And we call this pair an overconvergent lift of Frobenius. So it has the property that uh, 
uh, modulo uh, so this lifts the Frobenius modulo p to the 1 minus v, roughly speaking. In fact, this lifts, it lifts modulo p to the 1 minus v, this lifts the composite of the Frobenius on xv com composed with iota. And then by functoriality, we get a Frobenius map from a phi upper star of m to iota upper star of m. Right. Also, we have the similar properties as above, namely that uh, the filtration, when it exists, is mapped to uh, something divisible by uh, almost p, and such that the quotient is uh, close to be etal. So more precisely, we have that phi of phi upper star of, so here is some evaluation of uh, the crystal, tensor is W bar, I call W bar the uh, normalization of uh, W in some algebraic closure of, uh, of K. So this uh, lies inside P to the Y minus V, iota upper star of uh, MZ tensor W bar. And moreover, so uh, we have an induced Frobenius map on the quotient mz mod field mz tensor w bar mod p to the 1 minus v, right? And the property is that p to the v, p to the v belongs to the determinant of phi bar. So uh, as v is small, this is close to be uh, etal. Right, so um, now I come to the uh, second step. So, second step. So uh, the second step is uh, to extract some uh, close to a uh, unit root part in uh, this uh, in this crystal. Unfortunately, this is not possible to do this at the level of crystals because uh, Dwork's argument uses a uh, fixed point uh, process. And here, the Frobenius shrinks the radius of convergence. So we have to, to do this after, uh, after computing uh, cohomology. So the second step. So this will be uh, getting an uh, almost unit root. Uh, phi module. So here we have to do some uh, lo local computations. So uh, fix uh, an affine uh, uh, formal subscheme of uh, xv. We assume that uh, s uh, is uh, integral and normal. So as usual, we can uh, associate to this uh, ring S bar. So if this is uh, the union of uh, all the finite extension of S in some uh, fixed algebraic closure of the fraction field of S. So those extensions that become uh, etal uh, generically. So we have a local uh, Galois group. So here, the index k means that I invert p. And uh, also, we have the periodic completion of uh, this ring S bar. This is perfectoid. So uh, we can take the tilt. So I recall uh, this is a projective limit of S bar, not p S bar, under the Frobenius uh, map. Uh, I will call uh, it Rs for uh, historical reasons. So this uh, is a ring of characteristic P that has uh, an action of GS. And uh, it also contains uh, elements that will be useful uh, in what follows. 
uh, there's an element uh, p tilde, which is a co um, <coughs> compatible system of p to the nth root of uh, some uh, of, of p. And uh, zeta, this is a compatible system of primitive p to the nth root of unity. And uh, as usual, we uh, have um, a map uh, theta. is a surjective uh, ring homomorphism from uh, the width vectors with coefficients in Rs to uh, S bar hat. So as uh, usual, uh, the kernel of this map is a principal ideal generated by xi, the Teichmuller of p tilde minus p. Right, and then we define a Chris nabla <coughs> of S as the PID completion as of the uh, divided power envelope of this uh, width vector ring with respect to uh, the kernel of theta. And uh, so this has uh, various structures. So it has a Frobenius and uh, an action of uh, GS. And uh, we will use it to compute cohomology. More precisely, so we will uh, denote by uh, ms the projective limit of the crystalline cohomology. This. So this is uh, naturally an uh, Ekris Nabla module. And uh, this has an uh, extra structure. So uh, it has a uh, Frobenius, an action of uh, GS. And also, uh, it, uh, it, it is equipped with some uh, filtration uh, coming from the Hodge filtration. Right. And starting from this, we have to uh, extract some uh, almost unit root part. So there is an analog of uh, Dworks, uh, Dworks uh, theorem. So there exists so a sub phi module. Uh, <laughs> call it US in MS. So this is, this is uh, equipped with a Fobinius, an action of GS, which is uh, close to being uh, etal, which means that uh, there is a small, small power of uh, P tilde belonging to the determinant of the uh, reduction mod P of the, of the Fobinius. So acting on uh, US bar. Right. So uh, also, this US is a almost a, a direct factor of the filtration. This is not completely uh, exact, but. Well. Yes, it's, 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 it is a, a, an Ekris Nabla sub phi module. OK. Right. And the. the the third step is to uh, is to uh, associate to this uh, Ekris uh, module a periodic representation of uh, of GS. So yes, I should mention, of course, that there are some uh, gluing data. All those constructions glue. So it's enough to uh, construct the periodic representation locally. Mm -hmm. yeah, excuse me. So the, this map of phi is induced by it's by functoriality. You you are, you, you you have the Frobenius yeah. on uh, on this mod p to the one minus v say. So this pro this provides uh, um, a map between the pullback 
of uh, the um, sorry of the, yes the, the the pullback of M by uh, this Frobenius to the uh, to to M and then you compose by the uh, by taking the pullback of iota and as I mentioned before the Frobenius here uh, modulo uh, p to the one minus v composed uh, with the iota is precisely this. Uh, this, yes, this but this is not a quotient uh, by the canonical subgroup. Uh, no, 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 no. The, 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 the map phi here is, it, it comes from the canonical subgroup. The map phi, yes. This one. Yes, so I was thinking that if it is a quotient uh, modulo the canonical subgroup, yes. shouldn't it uh, respect to the Hodge filtration? So that is, uh, the image the by phi, shouldn't it be in the, the, the the feel of uh, Sorry? So, if this is induced by uh, taking the portion of the canonical subgroup, so it should be like an, exo an exogeny, so shouldn't it uh, preserve the hot filtration? Uh, this is the case for the excellent Frobenius, for example, of Quark, which, which is a. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. The, the excellent Frobenius mm -hmm. is characterized by, by this property to, to, to be an isogeny essentially at the level of fibers because it's a portion. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, but anyway, uh, under this uh, weaker assumption, uh, we can uh, produce the, 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 the US. Um, so the third step. So is to build a periodic representation, and this will be uh, made using a symptomic map. US is unique? Yes, it is unique, and in fact, it is not really, uh, it, it is a kind of independent on the filtration. So it, it's, it's it, it enough that uh, one has a filtration here that uh, has some similar condition here at the level of uh, MS to get US. So this is, it is uh, unique. Right. So um, so here we will use some uh, periods to build the, the representation. So the trouble, of course, is that uh, Acris Nabla is not big enough, which is logical because uh, the overconvergent Igusa Tower is not associated to a PD visible group. So uh, the first thing we, we do is to uh, make it smaller. And so I start so to get rid of uh, trouble with uh, uh, divided powers. I uh, denote by uh, lambda 0 the quotient of Acris by the ideal IP minus 1, which is the ideal of those elements in Acris Nabla, whose uh, uh, iterates under Frobenius all belong to the P minus 1's divided power of the kernel of theta. But this ring is uh, nothing mysterious because uh, this is simply the quotient of the vid vectors by a very simple ideal. Right. Uh, we get in trouble at uh, each step. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I didn't count them, but uh, all the time. <laughs> Um, so let me also mention that uh, the reduction uh, of lambda 0 mod p is uh, very explicit. This is uh, the quotient of Rs by uh, p tilde to the p, which in turn is isomorphic to uh, s bar mod p s bar. <coughs> okay, so in the computations, at some point, we, we need to uh, consider to divide by uh, some powers of p tilde. Uh, so that's why we uh, introduce the following ring. So let uh, alpha be the uh, rational between uh, 0 and, and 1, say. Lambda alpha. So uh, roughly speaking, this is uh, just lambda 0 to which we adjoin p divided by the Teichmüller of p tilde to the alpha. And so uh, with more details, this is simply lambda 0 with uh, one variable uh, t alpha. 
So I, I have the relation, of course, like p tilde to the alpha times t alpha minus p equals 0. But this string has p torsion. So we have also to kill p torsion. But uh, here, this is not a serious trouble since the p torsion is very explicit. And then we take periodic completion. So here we are happy because we have a connection of GS. And uh, we have these uh, elements. But uh, the drawback, of course, is that uh, we have um, troubles with the uh, Frobenius. Because if you apply Frobenius to uh, p divided by Teichmuller of p tilde to the alpha, the denominator will, uh, will uh, explode. So the situation is that we have uh, something uh, similar to what we had at the beginning. We have uh, two maps. So here I assume that uh, alpha is less than uh, 1 over p. So we have uh, two maps from lambda alpha to lambda p alpha. I call them uh, v and phi. So v is uh, lambda 0 linear and uh, maps the variable uh, t alpha to the Teichmuller of p tilde to the p minus 1 alpha times t p alpha. And uh, phi is, uh, is uh, phi linear. And uh, phi of t alpha, of course, is uh, t p alpha. Right. And uh, having this, so I should also mention that those two maps are uh, GS equivariant. We can define the following. The alpha of uh, US. This is the kernel of the following map. So it goes from uh, Xi lambda alpha tensor US over A Chris Nabla and goes to lambda pi alpha tensor US. And the map is the Frobenius divided by p on this factor, because uh, the Frobenius of, uh, of Xi is divisible by, uh, by p. Tensor the Frobenius of US minus v tensor the identity. This is the so-called uh, symptomic map. And uh, the, the hope is that uh, when uh, alpha is uh, appropriate, this, uh, this provides the periodic representation we are looking for. And uh, indeed, this is the case, this is a theorem. So if, so alpha is so rational, so it shouldn't be too small and shouldn't be too big. So there's some uh, bound uh, that, can, can, that is explicit in terms of, uh, of, uh, of v, and uh, less than uh, 1, uh, 1 over p. Then uh, this uh, v alpha of us <coughs> is zp to the g. And uh, since um, the maps uh, v and phi are uh, equivalent, this is endowed with an action of gs. And this is precisely the periodic representation that, I mean, locally over uh, the formal, uh, the maximal spectrum of, uh, of S uh, has been inverted, uh, corresponds to the over-convergent Igusa tower. So, well, this, this is not, uh, this is a, a bit complicated. So we want to proceed by uh, dévisage. The trouble is that, um, well, defined like this, there's absolutely no dévisage. Uh, the, the naive sequence modulo p to the n minus 1, modulo p to the n modulo p, is not exact. So the first step is uh, to slightly deform this map. And then you have a beginning of uh, exact sequence. But then you have a, a second trouble, is that modulo p, the kernel of uh, this map, is not finite dimensional over fp. So you have to uh, use a trick by considering those elements in this kernel that come from the representation uh, in characteristic 0 to select the right, uh, the right elements modulo p. And there, uh, uh, also another trouble 
that comes from the fact that the map is not surjective. So uh, you cannot uh, use the, the simple uh, snake lemma arguments to, uh, to get the uh, exactness of the sequence. Well, but anyway, y you, you, can, uh, you can show that. Okay, and uh, so before I say uh, some words about the, the Hodge type map, I would like to, to mention a, a few facts ab about, uh, about this representation, uh, at least mod p. These are the following. The first one is that one can consider what I denote v1. This is uh, v0 of uh, us mod p us. So this is uh, the stupid uh, symptomic map using uh, lambda 0, but mod, mod p. In fact, this does the job. This is uh, isomorphic to uh, fp, fp to the g. And uh, indeed, the reduction mod p of v alpha is precisely this uh, v1. OK. Also, so th the, the arguments to show this are, are the, the usual one. Um, one has to uh, solve uh, a matrix equation like, uh, like this one. Inside uh, S bar mod P to the uh, 1 minus 1 over P S bar to the G, assuming that the, uh, the, the determinant of A divides some uh, small power of P. And so these are the usual computations uh, when one uh, constructs a canonical subgroup. Also, uh, there's uh, some funny facts. That, uh, um, that, that for all uh, eta in uh, so zero p minus two divided by p minus one, one can reduce v one modulo some uh, power of, uh, of of p tilde. So uh, so recall this this is the kernel of the following map. This is US bar, so here this is a reduction modulo p, modulo p tilde to the p minus 1 to US bar, which is just the Frobenius minus p tilde. And here, one can look at its image inside p tilde US bar modulo p tilde, so I always forget the exponent. Um, right, p tilde to the p divided by p minus 1 plus p eta. Then this is a bijection. Right. And the second, uh, the second observation, which is related to what I, I said at the beginning uh, about uh, canonical subgroups, is that you can show explicitly that uh, the first uh, the first floor of the uh, overconvergent Igusa tower coincides with uh, the torsor of bases of the canonical subgroup. So this is uh, you can see that explicitly, for instance, using the description of uh, this by uh, Andrea Tagasbali. <coughs> okay, so now uh, uh, I will. Uh, come to the uh, Hodge state map. So here, so far we constructed uh, the um, overconvergent Igusa tower. So the construction of uh, the associated Hodge state map uh, is as follows. So uh, by definition, V alpha of us lies inside xi lambda alpha tensor us. So if uh, beta is a rational uh, larger than alpha and less than one, so we can extend the scalars to uh, lambda beta. So we get a map uh, that I call a beta from lambda beta tensored V alpha of US to Xi 
lambda beta tensor us. Right. Also, using uh, the representation v1 over there, we have a map mod p that I called a bar from lambda 0 mod p tensor v1 to uh, p tilde lambda 0 mod p tensor us bar. Right. So we have the following properties. The first one is that uh, the uh, kernel of A bar is killed by uh, P tilde to the P uh, over P minus 1. So to prove this, you can, uh, by normality, reduce to the case where S is uh, DVR. This is uh, explicit. Another thing is that there exists a constant C between uh, 0 and P minus 1, such that the co-kernel of this map is killed by uh, P tilde to the C. So to show that, uh, it's a bit tricky. You have to uh, lift uh, your application uh, into a map between uh, a free uh, R modules of rank G and then control the, uh, the determinant. But you, 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 there's a play with the uh, Hensel arguments. And using those two uh, ingredients, by successive approximation, you can deduce that P tilde to the uh, 1 over P minus 1 kills the co-kernel of A bar. Right. And then now uh, coming back to a characteristic 0, you get that uh, the Teichmüller of P tilde to the 1 over P minus 1 kills the co-kernel of A beta when beta is bigger than 1 over p. How do you raise to the power 1 over p minus 1? Well, in fact, it should be put uh, inside. Uh, it's, uh, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's, it's uh, like if written like this, it has uh, no meaning. It's uh, to be kind to the typist. And, um, Uh, okay, so so here um, you 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 had this uh, condition here, so that the element p divided by p tilde to the one over p minus one is topologically nilpotent in uh, lambda beta. Okay, so as a consequence. you obtain uh, an isomorphism. I will call this a proposition. An isomorphism uh, A beta P inverted from lambda beta P inverted tensor V alpha of US to psi lambda beta inverted tensor us. So here this is over zp and over a Chris nabla. Right. And uh, so under the same assumption, of course. And uh, now we have to relate this to the uh, co-normal shift. And uh, this is done as follows. So um, uh, recall that uh, still on the blackboard, we um, define uh, ms. Uh, as a crystalline cohomology of M. And uh, this can be uh, explicitly described in terms of uh, horizontal sections of a big module. So uh, let me explain this. So we choose uh, what I call a presentation of S. So this is a surjective homomorphism of uh, W algebras uh, with a T uh, formally smooth over W. So uh, this uh, defines 
uh, du over s. So this is the, uh, the periodic completion of the, of the divided power envelope of t with respect to the kernel of u. So this provides a divided power thickening of uh, the, maxim, uh, the formal spectrum of this. So I call it uh, z. And uh, we can also define a ring increase uh, as follows. So we start with uh, the tensor product of T with W of Rs over W. And uh, we can extend the map theta by uh, linearity, by T linearity. This gives the map uh, theta U. And uh, so the uh, ring increase of u if the periodic completion of the divided power envelope of that ring with respect to the kernel of uh, theta u. And this is uh, d of u algebra. So it has an action of gs. It has a Frobenius. Uh, so, well, the, the Frobenius structure is a bit complicated uh, since, uh, I mean, uh, the Frobenius changes the strict neighborhood. It's, there is a, some kind of Frobenius structure, and there is also a connection. And uh, the point is that we have an isomorphism which is given by uh, Taylor expansions. Uh, between uh, a crease of u, ah, sorry, first, yes. So ms is isomorphic to the horizontal sections of the tensor product of a crease of u with the evaluation of m at d of u. And we have a comparison, like Taylor series expansion, uh, like this, a crease of u, tensored with uh, ms with a crease of u tensored with uh, m d of u. Right. And so, yes. And using the decomposition uh, theorem, this is uh, step two, uh, this relates a crease of u tensored with us, well, let's say with a p inverted, and uh, a crease of u tensored mu, m d of u, modulo its filtration. Yes, with p inverted. OK, so we can. Uh, tensor with uh, lambda beta and inject here. So denoting by curly A beta of u, the tensor product of A crease of u <coughs> with lambda beta p inverted, we have an isomorphism, A, A beta of u tensored with V alpha of us with xi a beta of u tensored m modulo phil m. Right. And uh, then taking, so the map theta extends to, the, to that ring, <coughs> theta u, to s bar hat by sending one tensor uh, t beta to p to the 1 minus beta. And taking the first grade of this, we get an isomorphism um, between s bar hat tensor V alpha of US with uh, xi 
uh, S bar hat K tensor M, well, let's say S, the conormal shift. Right. So, um, in order to, uh, so th this is, um, well, in some, in th this is not quite the uh, Hodge state map, this is a dual Hodge state map. And uh, the Hodge state map is just the inverse of the transpose of that map. And uh, so, this uh, goes from, uh, well, this provides a map from the dual uh, periodic representation and uh, omega tensored with uh, S bar hat. So in order to uh, shifify this, as we did on, uh, on the ordinary locus, we need to uh, have some uh, descent here. Um, typically, uh, if we call H the kernel of the uh, periodic representation attached to, uh, to this, then uh, we would need a, a statement like this. Well, in fact, we need more, but uh, we will already would be happy to, uh, to know that. Or something similar. We, 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 would, we, we need some, some uh, decent property like this, or maybe with reducing a little the, the radius of convergence. So, well, we have uh, some strategy to, uh, to prove uh, this using the uh, Tetzen uh, formalism. But uh, to do this, at some point, we, we need to, uh, to, to construct some uh, perfectoization of, uh, of S. So I don't know how to call this, perf. And um, well, uh, making things perfectoid uh, tends to uh, shrink the radius of convergence. And so this is a big trouble when we want to build uh, normalized tra tra traces. Well, so this is, we are, this is still uh, in progress. And um, in the few minutes left, um, I would like to come back to uh, the observation I made uh, at the beginning, namely the relation, relationship between uh, the uh, overconvergent Igusa tower and the uh, uh, canonical subgroup wha when both are defined. So uh, I will, uh, for simplicity, um, denote by uh, Ln the, uh, the, the, the shift uh, for the finite et al topology on uh, Xn that, that attach to the nth level of the overconvergent Igusa tower. And uh, recall that uh, we have uh, the canonical uh, subgroup. So uh, this uh, on x of v when v is less than the minimum of v0 and 1 over 2 p to the n minus 1. So the point is that uh, they coincide on the ordinary locus. Uh, and so we, we want to, to show that under this they coincide on x of v. And uh, so, as I said before, this is, uh, this is true for n equals 1. And then we, do, we use induction. The argument is the following. So this is a, like a obvious uh, exact sequences. So we al already know that the, there is an isomorphi isomorphism like uh, iota 1 here. So by the induction hypothesis, we have an isomorphism here, iota n minus 1. So those isomorphisms induce an isomorphism between the uh, x uh, groups. Um, Here and I, so those two exact sequences provide classes here. Cl 
classes that uh, agree on the ordinary locus. So then by analytic continuation, uh, we deduce that in fact they uh, agree everywhere. So this shows that they are equal on the ordinary locus. Also, we, uh, we uh, want to compare the uh, associated uh, Hodge type maps. So we have uh, the map from uh, Ln dual <coughs> to omega tensor uh, z mod p to the n. We have also the uh, Hodge type map attached to uh, Hn. So here uh, we had this map, this isomorphism iota n. So we get an isomorphism iota n dual. And here we have uh, the natural map here. And this uh, square commutes on the ordinary locus. And here again, by analytic continuation, this uh, commutes on uh, xn. So this shows that the Hodge state map that I construct before, this over-convergent uh, state map, I mean modulo this decent uh, trouble, agrees with the usual uh, state map for uh, Hn. Okay. Any question? Comment? So yes. it's just at the end, in this uh, analytic continuation argument, where well, you see that you have to shrink the V because V is getting smaller and smaller on the end. Sure. I, I mean, uh, both objects have to be defined. So uh, this Ln has to be defined, so it must be less than V0, and this for the canonical yeah, subgroup. It's just the definition. Yes. I, I want to compare two objects. Okay, if no other question, let's start our speaker again. <laughs> <laughs>